All right. Happy New Year, 2023. Brian Eich, good morning. Jahan North, what's happening? What's up, buddy? Man, a new year. Here we go, huh? I am excited. Happy New Year's to Sherry here, who's on the chat board. Will Hawkinson, who's joined us. Uh, good morning to, to both of you. Excited to be here. And yes, Happy New Year. I actually, I always say Happy New Year's. I put a plural on it. Mm -hmm. And my wife last night just kind of leaned in and she's like, babe, it's Happy New Year. Yeah. And I was like, oh, didn't really think about it. Yep. Happy New Year. In fact, uh, my daughter, Caitlin, she, uh, she was texting Happy New Year's with the S and it wasn't doing like the iPhone will do like, uh, oh, <laughs> you know, explosions and, 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 uh, yeah, it wasn't. Uh, fireworks but it doesn't do it unless you put happy new year ah uh, that's what it is yeah i opened up some text last night um or i guess i should say two nights ago and it was just like boom 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 yeah it's like my my phone was exploding look at this jeff tate here on the chat board good morning jeff happy new year. he says bring in my a game to my family to god to training to serving other people come on now Let's go come on that's it jeff that's how you Start the new year and finish the new year. Yes, that, that's the thing. You know, look, it's day one. You know, Jesus said, take it day by day. Mm -hmm. I mean, basically what Jesus said is every day is day one. Every day is day one. Come on, baby. Hey. So, today's day one, Brian Nights. That's, that's right. Somebody. Let's get in the word. Let's dance for the Lord with all our might. Let's praise. Let's sing. Let's help others. Let's train hard. Let's work hard. Let's have a positive attitude. Let's not be angry. Let's not be judgmental. Let's not be needy. Let's not be envy. You know, all the money, screw that. Health, money, finances, goals of all that, you know, uh, worldly stuff. Like, put that to the side. Because if your number one goal is to be closer to Jesus Christ, that's it. That's all that matters. And honestly, all that other stuff will come. You know, and, Man, come you know, on, John, preach it. Gotta put it into Jesus first. You know, we uh, Pastor Brett on a service on Sunday looked up all the biggest percentages of New Year's resolutions, and of course, none of none of us it to be none of there wasn't one um, person there wasn't one thing saying I want to be closer to Jesus. It was all you know, eat better, exercise more, make more money. It's like. Mm. You know, it'll make you think. Yep. Yep. Yeah, it was, um, you know, getting closer to the Lord, obviously, is, a, is the best thing. You said it. Everything will come. You know, he's Matthew chapter uh, 6, I think it is. Jesus says, seek ye first the kingdom of God, and then all those things, health, wealth, favor among men, friends, family, you know, togetherness. It'll all come yeah. when you put him first and you seek him first. Yeah, that's man. I, I tell you right now, you know, it's it's it, it's been, you know, I, I, it's been a, it's been an odd few days for me, and uh, there's there's been th some things that have happened that have been a little little tough in my life, and mm -hmm. uh, I've been you know I've been a little emotional and, and and sad, and some some knives have gone through my my stomach and my back, and. Um, it's been a little bit of an emotional roller coaster the last few days. Um, but man, I tell you right now, I just think, I think about David. Yep. I think about the Psalms. I think about Job. I think about Moses and the journey. Yeah. You know, I think about, uh, Oh, they did it. They had the same thing happen to them. I think about Caleb having faith and confidence with, uh, with Joseph to cross the Jordan and to fight. Yeah. Joshua, sorry. You're good. You're good. Um, you know, Absolutely. They, no, you're right. To to talk to the king, and I could go on, right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, you think about Jesus just preaching and and doing, you know, walking and um, just just being fearless. Oh man, John, I read I read the verse today this morning. Just owning him and fighting him and just his yeah. focus and his love for his people. Yeah. Go ahead. Sorry. No, I, I didn't mean to interrupt, but you, you, you nailed it right there. 
I literally read the scripture today. It says, Jesus, um, let me see. He said he endured against sinners or, 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 um, well, my email is, uh, the exact word is this, uh, consider Jesus. He endured such contradiction of sinners against him. Mm. Right. So just meaning People came against him over and over again. Friends, family, acquaintances, leaders, you know, in life. But look up, it says. Look up. Look up. That's consider a- him. Come on now. No matter what, consider him. And, you know, it's, I always say, and I've been actually saying on the, this on the podcast the last, since we started in April. Mm-hmm. Like, 2022 has been my, the best year of my life. Come on, I always said, you know, now that we're on this journey and we're in the word every single day, for the most part, reading, studying, uh, going cover to cover, you know, I've never been closer to God than I am now. And that's such a blessing. And I always said to you, Brian, Oh, Donnie's calling. I'm merging him. Yeah. Merge him in. I said, if I ever go through a hard time, I hope I do almost like bring it on. Right. Bring on. The, oh, bring on the hard times, the hard baby. Time. We got a loop going. One sec. Hey, Donnie. Yeah. Donnie, Donnie's joining us here. Donnie Shankle. Good morning. Good morning, Donnie. One, two, one, two. All right. There's no more loop. I said, bring it on. Mm-hmm. Bring on the hardship because I want to be able to put my faith to the test. You know, I want to be able to sing and dance and stay in the word and be in a positive attitude and be in a focused, uh, loving mindset for the Lord, even when hardship comes. Right. Amen. Yep. And, you know, the last few days, that's what's happened. And I'm like, you know what, man, look up, child, mm-hmm. you know, look at the blessings that you have right in front of you. Look at your family. Look at your friends. Look at the people in your life right here, right in front of you, right next to you. And then I just started counting my blessings in a hard time. And I guarantee you right now, 2013, 2010, 2015, John North would have never done that. I would have dwelled on the negativity, right? I would have sobbed in my tears. Yep. I would have been upset. I would have let it eat me. I would have let it hang over me. I would have let it affect me. And, and really back then, without having God, without, without having Jesus in your life, without being in the word and having this relationship with God, I would have been blinded to the blessings that are in front of me. Yeah. But, but now I'm not. I see all the good that God does, even in hard times. And I say to myself, all glory to God, and let's keep going. Yeah, let's, let's go. Look, you know, that's, how, that's called growth, John. That's called you, you're, you're, uh, you're no longer a child in the word, a young babe, but growing up into a mature christian believer you know like like what he wants us to do all the time in the word all the time with him it changes your perspective and you learn you know and you begin to see uh, we all we all that's what we all need we all need that so nothing the bible says that a uh an, an immature believer is tossed around by every wind of doctrine right or every circumstance but not us, right? We're, we hit, we, uh, we're anchored. Our soul is anchored on Jesus. That's Amen. awesome. That's awesome. Absolutely. But this isn't 2015. This is 2023, baby. And, you know, I want to make one more statement here, too. Is, and these aren't just words. This is how I feel. And that's what matters. It's the inside. It's the heart. You know, I just have so much passion and love and energy right now for this new year and for the people that are in front of me that are in my life, like Donnie and Brian and people on the chat board and my mm-hmm. team and my family, et cetera. And that gives you so much energy and that gives you so much hope. And that's just God working. That's Jesus inside, just, you know, moving. And no matter what darkness, no matter what demons, no matter what evil, no matter how many attacks are thrown at us, we got to stay on the narrow path and keep trucking. And that's what I'm doing right now. Yeah. You know? blessings and appreciate the people that are in your life and the good things that you have that's the that's the goal for 2023 we could do better at that because too many people are out there just only singing the negative mm. that's eat you alive that will eat your soul alive and that's 100 the enemy attacking yep yeah well said 
um donnie by the way we're live but that yeah. is Good that morning. is that is if you're listening right and you're going through i mean new year's everything sucks just keep trucking look up keep your eyes on jesus open the bible every single day and yeah. keep going forward this train it never stops get on Absolutely. board get on board yep. well good morning happy new year's happy new year ah uh, he see he didn't say plural yeah said, see happy new year we just sell i talked about that happy uh, new year honey, i always say happy new years my, my wife corrected me yesterday so happy new years happy new years happy new year it rolls off with the s for happy new years it does i get, I get it how was your uh how was your weekend donnie how was your new year Oh, it was very nice, man. It's quiet. Oh, it's raining here. Oh, mm. in the desert. It, it's raining hard, man. There's a deluge going on. Oh, wow. Wow. I haven't seen rain like this in a while. It's flooding out here, man. A lot of work in front of me now, huh? Yeah, better get that tractor ready. Oh, Cold boy. and wet, which is probably the most worst kind of weather you can have. Yep. But it is raining. What's the weather like there? Boy, it's actually kind of hot and humid, a little cloudy this morning. I don't know. I'm three hours from Brian, but uh, it's cloudy and humid right now. Yeah, it's 70, a little a little bit of a drizzle, and but it's going to clear up. Yeah. It's supposed to be 80 today, so it's going to be muggy. It seems like spring is right around the corner. Yeah, it's not. The, it's, no. it's like somebody has a hand on the faucet out here, and they turn it up high. Yeah. They turn it up high, and then they bring it down low. You better get them work boots on, baby. Get well, out there. And- you're, you're raised up, though, a little bit, right? So you're not going to flood. No, I worked real hard to surround the house with a bunch of rocks, so erosion won't be as bad, if at all. But outside of those rocks, that land is getting lower, I guess. You know. Yeah. That's right. What are we reading today, gentlemen? All right, Psalms chapter 92. Uh, me and Brian are pretty sure that's where we are. That's, yep, that's where we are. We finished on 91. All right, Psalms chapter 92. Uh, we read out of the New Living Translation, so open up your Bibles. We started back in April in Genesis 1-1, and here we are. We're going cover to cover. And uh, Donnie Schenkel, always good to have you join us. Uh, let's see, let's pray it in. Brian, you want to pray it in for the new year? Yeah, absolutely. Well, Father, we just... Thank you. Come to you in the name of Jesus. You are so worthy. You gave us a covenant, a new covenant, the blood of your son, the God of heaven and earth. Oh, we accept it. We thank you. We, we live it. We love it. And we just thank you that you're, uh, you're always with us. You never leave us. Although we might anger you, you love us no matter what. We thank you. No, nothing can pluck us from your hand. Uh, you wrote. So we love you, Lord. Thank you for opening our eyes. This is a new year. One more year to commit our whole life to you, our ways to you, our thoughts to you. And we do that in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Yeah. I love it. I love it. I want to say one last thing, too, because I'm just jacked up. I'm ready for the new year. I'm, I'm pumped. Heck yeah. I feel like sometimes when when things happen in your life, a few days, a few days, a week, a month, even a year goes by, and guess what? You're like, you know what? This is for the better. This is nice. This is good. You know, the Lord works in ways. And um, you know, I think when you stay in the Word and you're really close to God, we've talked about this, Brian. It's like you have armor on. Mm-hmm. You know, like you're ready for anything. You're ready for a battle in the in, on the platform. Like, even when you take your family out somewhere, you're like, if anything bad happens, I'm ready. I have the armor of God on. Right. You know, sure. you just, like, you feel like you have superpowers, you know, and it's an amazing feeling that's hard to explain that's within. Um, and I don't know. I just, that's, that's what I just love about reading the word and being close to God. You know, it's just, it makes you feel a certain way and it's amazing. Yeah, that's awesome. Keep that, keep that going. I'm with you. Yeah, well, let's get into it. Donnie, you want to kick it off? Psalm 92. It is good to give thanks to the Lord, to sing praises to the Most High. It is good to proclaim your unfailing love in the morning, your faithfulness in the evening, accompanied by a ten-stringed instrument, a harp, 
and the melody of a lyre. You thrill me, Lord, with all you have done for me. I sing for joy because of what you have done. O oh Lord, what great works you do and how deep are your thoughts. Only a simpleton would not know mm. and only a fool would not understand this. Though the wicked sprout like weeds and evil doers flourish, they will be destroyed forever. But you, O oh Lord, will be exalted forever. Your enemies, Lord, will surely perish. All evil doers will be scattered. But you have made me as strong as a wild ox. You have anointed me with the finest oil. My eyes have seen the downfall of my enemies. My ears have heard the defeat of my wicked opponents. But the godly will flourish like palm trees and grow strong like the cedars of Lebanon. Mm. For they are transplanted to the Lord's own house. They flourish in the courts of our God. Even in old age, they will still produce fruit. They will remain vital and green. They will declare the Lord is just. He is my rock. There is no evil in him. Come on. Yes. <clears throat> I, 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 all I can picture of is, is as masters athletes. That's us. We are still vital. Producing fruit. Green. Strong. Yeah. Come on. Amen. You know, Caleb, look, Caleb and Joshua. Normally it's Joshua. She said Joshua and Caleb, they were 80 years old and he, and they looked up and they said, I am as strong as I am, even stronger than when right. we started this journey. So there is no excuse. Day one, every day, it's day one. I love it. Day one. That's amazing. Well said, Brian. That was a great read, Donnie. Yeah. Thank you. you know, and again, I mean, this is, look, it's, it's, you know, it's, I know it's day two of the new year, but being Monday, it feels like day one, right? And here we are on day one, Monday morning. And, you know, this Psalms 92 right here is like, you know, it's a celebration. It's a let's go, let's dance, let's mm -hmm. sing, let's look at our blessings, let's look at all the good in our lives. God loves us. He hears us. You know, there's, this is so fitting for where we are right now. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm referencing Joshua 14, 11. As yet, I am as strong this day as I was in the day that Moses sent me. As my strength was then, even so is my strength now for war, both to go out and to come in. Yes. Gosh, I love that. I love that. Look, the whole thing is you, you keep God first. What does he do? David says, I give thanks to the Lord and praise the most high. And that's what Josh and Caleb did. You know, they put him first. You put him first, like Psalms 1 says, you're planted like a tree by the rivers of living water. Yeah, and you know, I, I love the fact that to connect it with Esther, right, 416, is Caleb and Joshua are thinking, you know what? If I perish, I perish. If I die, I die. What does it matter, guys? It's a win-win situation. We are gonna We're going to cross this Jordan because we have full trust in the Lord. We're going to go fight for God because this is his plan. Right. And you know what? If we take the land and we have victory, success. Right. Right. If we die, success. <laughs> we're going to be we're going to have eternal life with God. I mean, so it's a win win. It's like when Esther said, if I die, I die. It's a win win. And so, gosh, talk about just confidence. You know, that's it's it, and it reminds me of Samson. Take it down, Lord. People are like, oh, man, why would he do that? Why would he die? Why would he want to kill himself? Why would yeah. he sacrifice himself like that? Why, Samson? No, no, ask, Samson, ask for God to help you and release you and, 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 and get you out of this mess. But no, Samson said, take it down. Because Samson, Samson did not die. Samson, that was not a negative. Samson has eternal life mm. with Christ forever. Come on now, that's good. So we talk about Samson, we talk about Esther, we talk about Caleb and Joshua, or Joshua and Caleb, I should say, because Joshua was the leader. You got to give Joshua respect on saying his name first, in my opinion. Yeah, you, you bring up a great point, Brian. Yeah. I, you, know, you just said, and I'll go on to 93, but you just said something that's awesome. You said, uh, sometimes people 
pray. Lord, save me from this problem. Look, I'm not. Of course, we, we pray that. But Samson like, said, no, no, no. Take it down. Kill them all. Montalos, as, uh, as they say in Spanish. I love it. Sometimes that's what you got to do, man. Right? Just bring them all down. You're, that doesn't mean you're dead. That means you're with Jesus. Straight up. Look up. It isn't just a polite suggestion to go out into the world and to start the year. God commands you. Joshua 1 9 says, Have I not commanded thee, be strong and of good courage? Be not afraid, neither be thou dismayed. Mm. For the Lord thy God is with thee whithersoever thou goest. Get oh, out there. Come on. <laughs> Commands. <laughs> that is so great. Hey, he's the leader of the heavenly army and us. Remember, that's, remember, that's our uh, residency. We're in heaven. So that's a command. Let's go. I love it, man. That's good. And don't be afraid either. Yeah, fear. No. Fear's a trap, man. Fear's a trap. Love that. No fear. Good reminder. No. No fear. I always, I always have this verse with me too, Job 38.3. Gird up now thy loins like a man, for I will demand of thee and answer thou me. <laughs> Jeez. Come on, man. I mean, isn't this book just, at least, isn't this library of books just amazing? Yeah. The source material for everything. It, it's got everything, doesn't it? Oh my gosh, does it? It's everything. living. Everything. Yeah. My, uh, Jess is getting me a uh, tattoo gift certificate again for my birthday because that's all I ask for these days. She's, well, what, what's your next tattoo going to be? I said, well, my next one is going to be Samson. Take it down. That's it. I actually don't know the chapter or verse. Um, maybe we can look right now, but that's it. That's my next one right on my arm. Big, too. Bold. Take it down. It'll probably be my biggest one. Take it down, Lord, because I have no fear. I love you. I trust in you. I have eternal life with you. No matter what, my strength is with you. Yeah. You know, and I don't know. Samson just reminds me of Donnie. Just, you know, just like, let's go battle. Let's get out there. Let's go fight. You know, I mean, come on now. That's what I mean. This book has everything. You know, if you like, you like the strong man, this book has Samson. You like the, you like the, the shows of intrigue, like Game of Thrones, go ahead and read First and Second Samuel. Mm -hmm. David and his court. You like you like Marvel movies and the Black Widow? Go check out Jail when she drove the tent bag through the uh, the oh, yeah. king. Yeah. You like Beowulf? You like that's right. Yes. You like Disney movies? Hey, do you like Shrek? It even has a talking donkey. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come on. Uh, yeah, that's perfect. Wow. Well, it, it's the source material for everything. It's the source material for mankind. Yes. And everything. Yep. It really is. You like poetry? Well, we're reading some of the most beautiful poems there is. Yep. Ooh. Yeah. Yeah. Why watch Lord of the Rings when you can watch Moses go through the ocean? That's right. I you know. know. No watch kidding. A movie when you can watch Queen Esther. That's right. Yeah. And the pillar of fire holds up the the Pharisee. I mean, the Pharaoh's army. Ah. Yeah. Just wait till they're out in the water. God, the first few chapters of Genesis. Why watch any sci-fi movie? Not yeah. saying Genesis is sci-fi, but you know what I'm saying, yeah. right? You want to you want to watch the series of Earth? Read Genesis chapter one too. Oh, Boy, by the way, Judges sixteen. Samson said, "Let me die with the Philistines," oh, and he pushed. He pushed with all his might, and the temple fell on the lords, and all the people who were in it. So the dead. That he killed and at his death were more than he had killed in all his lifetime. Wow. Okay, there it is, right there. Cool. I don't have a judges. I said to you. Yeah, so that's gonna be great. Actually, every tattoo I have is a different book. And I didn't I didn't mean it that way. Like if that was in if that was Second Samuel or if that was in numbers, I'd get it, of course. I already have those the numbers in second. So that's cool that it's a it's a it's a book I don't have, which is pretty awesome. Well, ninety three. 93. I'll start it off. Yeah. The Lord is king. He is robed in his robed in majesty. Indeed, the Lord is robed in majesty and armed with strength. Mm. The world stands firm and cannot be shaken. 
Your throne, O Lord, has stood from time immemorable. Can I, ask, can I ask time out real quick? We're we're almost done with Psalms. Immemorial. We're basically halfway through the Bible. I don't. Can someone show me the wrath of God? Well, it's coming up for sure. The Book of Revelation. I've read Revelation. Watch out. I just don't see it. All I see is love and and uh, passion. Yeah, it is love. Look, all so much love here. I'm just waiting for someone to show it to me. That's all. Continue. Sorry. Your throne, O Lord, has stood from time and memorial. You yourself are the everlasting past. Wow. Let me read that again. You yourself are the everlasting past. That is a statement of statements. Wait, hold on here. Let me just try to think about this. Everlasting past. Yeah. He has no beginning. Whoa. He is. Wait a minute, Donnie, what do you think about that? So that means there's no, you know, Lincoln, my son, asked that the other day. He goes, did God create himself? When did it all start? And I, I, didn't, know, I didn't know how to answer that. Just, that's a hard question to answer. He said, you know, Lincoln, I don't think our minds are built to understand that. Well, um, remember, we live, we live in this physical time, right? In the beginning, he created, in the beginning in Genesis 1, 1, he created time, space, and matter all at once. So we live in this physical time, space area that he created. Outside of that, it's different. And I, I don't understand it. Not really. Donnie, anything on that? Well said, Brian. That's so to me that God is, out of t- is, is outside of time. That God is the creator of time, space, and matter. Mm-hmm. Like the Bible says, it is the glory of God to conceal a thing and for kings to discover his concealment. Yeah. Yeah, that's good. And deep stuff, and what better for children to ask simple questions and stump us in our tracks without an answer? You know? <laughs> so true. Yeah. And I love how the Bible is kind of turning our heads a little bit here, kind of turning us upside down, because we always think, um, where's that verse again, Brian? End of two. Um, everlasting future when we think everlasting we always think future don't we everybody on the chat board everybody here yeah everlasting it's it's such a future statement such a future word that's where our heads go yeah but look what god does here he goes everlasting scoot past yeah what what what, what? everything past whoa like like donnie said this book is capital yeah I mean, technically, we the exact verse. It was Proverbs twenty-five two that says, "It is the glory of God to conceal a thing, but the honor of kings is to search a matter out." Mm-hmm. Yeah, I like that. Keep searching. Yeah, that's it. That's that's the answer. Like uh, the Bible doesn't contradict itself. You just got to keep studying. <clears throat> yep. Amen. Yeah. Amen. Three. Here we go. The floods have risen up, O Lord. The floods have roared like thunder. The floods have lifted their pounding waves. But mightier than the violent raging of the seas, mightier than the breaking the breakers of the on the shore, the Lord above is mightier than these. Your royal laws cannot be changed. You reign, O Lord. Your reign, O Lord, is holy. Forever and ever. Amen. Amen. You know, that's this is look at five. This is something that a lot of times people never think about. Royal laws. There are spiritual laws and physical laws that God has set forth. You know, and but a lot of times we people think we just float around in the world living day by day. But there are laws. The law of faith, the law of giving. There's there's laws that God has set forth. The law of of truth, you know, speaking words. They can't be changed. The law of male and female. <laughs> Amen. Brian, that's not what my college professor said, okay? <laughs> yeah. Exactly. I was reading uh I finished John 
in the New Living Translation last night. And man, I was getting pumped up in John, man. And then uh, one of the last verses that I that that hit me was uh, John sixteen thirty three. This, this will ring true for those going into the new year. These things I have spoken unto you, that in me ye might have peace. In the world ye shall have tribulation, but be of good cheer. I have overcome the world. Mm. Oh. Jesus. That's Jesus speaking. Yes. But be of good cheer. Yeah. I have overcome the world. Yes. I love that. Positivity. You know? Yeah. Today we should be in a good mood, you know? Jesus is victorious. You know, that's 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 celebration every day. <laughs> Jesus says, that's what he says to the boys. Hey, do y'all finally believe? You know, third verse thirty one. Jesus asked, "Do you finally believe?" I love it. I love it. it. And, bless those who, and bless those who believe without seeing. Yeah. You know, Thomas had to touch. Thomas had to see. And Jesus came and showed him. But then he said, "Bless you, for you have seen. But bless those even more who have not seen." Amen. Yeah, literally, because we don't. We don't see. Not physically, anyway. I love that. You know, he covers it all. <laughs> the Lord covers every situation for us. Yeah, I love when God, on that note, did the wet blanket for what's his name? Yeah. Um, El Elijah. Elijah. No, no, no. That was, no. Is it, It's, uh, yeah, Elisha. And, uh, of course, the Lord didn't need to do all that, right? Because it's faith. But, you know, it's like the Lord did all that for us to read, to show us, have faith without seeing, without having the wet blanket. Was that Gideon? Oh, yeah, it was. Elijah was the wood. My bad. Yeah. I was just about to say, thank you. Gideon. The fleece. Yeah, I mean, look, I mean. We want to see the wet fleece so bad. He, he knows, though. Sometimes we, we, we don't, you know, especially back back then, they had no, they didn't have the spirit of God in them like we do. You know, mm -hmm. he he knows sometimes we're, we're weak, and how how accommodating he is. Well, I think now we can sit here too, knowing that reading that story, we've seen the fleece, right? Because when you're reading the Bible, you're in the Bible. When you're reading the Bible, you've taken a time machine back and you're in that situation. I don't need to see the fleece. I never needed to see it in the first place, but now that I've seen it with Gideon, it's like, that's fantastic. Yeah. You know? Yeah. You know, Matthew, you know, Matthew 16, Jesus says this, he says an evil, a wicked and evil generation seeks a sign. Like Gideon sought a sign. You know, we think evil that's, but that, what that really says is, is your unbelieving, the unbelieving generation. Right. Yeah. And it's like, God showing Gideon the sign is God basically telling us, the reader, you don't need to see the sign. Right. Like, that's what that is. Well, like Donnie just said, those who believe better for those who don't see him face to face and believe. And when we see him again, we will know it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Matthew 24, 26 through 27, it says, Wherefore, if they shall say unto you, Behold, he is in the desert, go not forth. Behold, he is in the secret chambers, believe it not. For as the lightning cometh out of the east and shineth even unto the west, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. <laughs> the, li the lightning will shine in the east and be so bright that you can see it in the west. You know? That's going to be powerful. God connected with mankind first through the prophets. And then he connected with mankind through his son, the word made flesh. Ooh. And kind of relating to what John was asking, show me God's wrath. Well, there is no third volume, gentlemen. <laughs> yes. There is, there, is, there is no other book. There isn't a volume three after the New Testament. Nope. Christ will come and lay judgment to the world. Oh, wait, there, I, yeah. there is no volume after that. Nope. Tell that, tell that to Mormons. 
It says, but maybe after this, but maybe no, it ends there. That's it. Yeah, the, yeah. It ends with it ends with Lord, come quickly. You know, Maranatha. Uh, and it, the it it ends with exactly how Psalms end, ends. Let everything that hath breath praise, praise the Lord. The, that's right. That's right. Let everything that hath breath and uh, the new the New Testament way is every knee will bow and every tongue will confess that Jesus is Lord. Absolutely, Amen. Every breath you take in is you speaking God's name, Yahweh. When yeah. you breathe in, when you breathe out, you speak the name of the Lord. Let everything that have breath across the land praise the Lord. Amazing. John, you're getting me pumped up. Amazing. Thank you. Day one, Monday, 2023. Don't it seem like yesterday was 2010 and we were in the gym training? What happened? Doesn't, doesn't it? Time goes by fast, doesn't it? Huh? You blink. Mm -hmm. Where's the time gone, Donnie? It's kind of scary. Like, you know, there's a there's a clock on our lives here. It's like you blink and Hey, number your days, it says. Number your days, because they go by. They're like you're merely talking... a mist. Were we talking about that on the last podcast about time and mm -hmm. how quick time is and how fleeting time is? Hey, turn to your left, turn to your right, hug those that you love, kiss them now, go out into the world and shake someone's hand. You know? Say hi. That's it. Oh. If, look, if you look at the days, I mean, I know it's it's early, it's in the morning right now, but just in a, in a few moments, it's going to be nighttime. That's just like the life, you know, quickly, quickly. And children grow up so fast, don't they, John? Yeah, they really do, you know, and that's why anything that's surrounding your life that is darkness, you just got to cut out and move forward because you're not here long. You know, David's been saying that in the Psalms now for you know, for month for for the last month since we started, um, just got to hug and kiss your family, and yeah, you said it best, Donnie. Amen. Well, I have a little more time. Uh, I have about, gosh, five uh, to maybe ten minutes left if we want to do ninety four. Mm, just enough time. Yeah. Why don't you start it off, John? Oh, okay. I haven't read yet. All right, Psalms 94, last uh, chapter of the study today. O Lord, the God of vengeance, O God of vengeance, let your glorious justice shine forth. See, so look at that. Mm -hmm. Justice. Arise, O judge of the earth. Give the proud what they deserve. O how long, Lord? Sorry. O long. How long, O Lord? How long will the wicked be allowed to gloat? How long will they speak with arrogance? How long will these evil people boast? They crush your people, Lord, hurting those you claim as your own. They will widows. Uh, they kill widows and foreigners and murder orphans. The Lord isn't looking, they say. And besides, the God of Israel doesn't care. That's quote unquote. That's what the bad people are saying. Think again, you fools. When will you finally catch on? Is he deaf, the one who made your ears? Is he blind, the one who formed your eyes? <laughs> he punishes the nations. Won't he also punish you? He knows everything. Doesn't he also know what you are doing? The Lord knows people's thoughts. He knows they are worthless. This reminds me of, of Genesis 1-1, right? Well, you know, how did Jonah survive the whale? And how did the animals get in the boat? And how did the Peter walk on water? And all these kind of things. Yeah. Genesis 1-1. Yeah. God can create the heavens and the earth. He can do anything. Yeah, I love it. Job had those same questions. And, and God's like, where were you when I formed the foundations of the deep? Yeah, Genesis 1-1. Everything else is cheesecake. Look, number verse 12, joyful are those you dis discipline, Lord. Look at that. Joyful are those you discipline, Lord. Yeah. See, discipline is good. Being redirected sometimes is good. You know, being pushed down from your ego is good. Sorry, that was all me talking. Here Absolutely. we go. Uh, continuing. Those you teach with your instructions. You give them relief from troubled times until a pit is dug to capture the wicked. The Lord will not reject his people. 
He will not abandon his special possession. Judgment will again be founded on justice, and those with virtu- virtuous hearts will pursue it. Mm. All right. You guys want to slam dunk the last two chapters? Yeah, or, you, uh, yeah go for it, Donnie. Take it. Who will protect me from the wicked? Who will stand up for me against evildoers? Unless the Lord had helped me, I would soon have settled in the silence of the grave. I cried out, I am slipping, but your unfailing love, O Lord, supported me when doubts filled my mind. Your comfort gave me renewed hope and cheer. Can unjust leaders claim that God is on their side? Leaders whose decrees permit injustice? They gang up against the righteous and condemn the innocent to death. But the Lord is my fortress. My God is the mighty rock where I hide. God will turn the sins of evil people back on them. He will destroy them for their sins. The Lord our God will destroy them. Makes you want to run from sin, huh? I like how you talked about discipline, John. One of the Bible verses that I have hanging up in Dynamis, and I think is the most powerful one in my gym, for all gyms probably, is Hebrews 12, 11 that says, for the moment, all discipline seems painful rather than pleasant, but later it yields the peaceful fruit of righteousness to those who have been trained by it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's awesome. That's it right there. Exactly. That's awesome. Wow. Wow. Yeah. There's 94. We're on 95 now. Um, yeah, I think, and again, you know, we were just, to kind of put a bow on it for me, you know, we were just talking about like trusting the Lord, you know, walking blind down the narrow path, you know, and sometimes when, when things are not going your way or bad things are happening or, you know, you have a different an opinion on what should be happening in your life let's say man i mean we read this on on chapter 94 here and it's like we just have to trust in the lord because we don't know we don't know what direction the lord is redirecting us towards you know i look at my cardiac arrest in 2016 i mean looking back now that was like the best thing that ever happened to me you know, but at the time, of course, I'm thinking, why, why, why such a horrible thing? Hmm. And so, again, it's just having faith. Yeah, I mean, you know, we don't know the exact situation, you know, but God definitely said, oh, this this is the, the catalyst of John's life. We're going to switch something here. And everybody has the, that moment. Yours was a little more extreme. But... Absolutely. You know, everybody has that moment, that Samson moment, you know, that, that moment at the zoo where you either, you know, that moment where on the road to Damascus where Paul, the Saul is kicked off his horse by the glory of God and you have to choose Jesus or the rest of the, or, or without him. And, uh, I choose the Lord (laughs) because what we just read his, you know, he will put those those sinners in their place, right? He will destroy them. And I don't want that. Yeah, amen. May not know which direction I'm being led, or I may not know where God is taking me, but I do know this. I will walk through the valley of the shadow of death with no fear. Mm. For you are with me. Wherever my direction may be taken, I will not fear, for you are with me, O Lord. Mm-hmm. Thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me. Yeah, I love it. Look at And look at the next line. It says, surely you have set a table before me. Everything I need, food, water, whatever, in the presence of my enemies. God is so good, no matter what situation you're in. He will comfort, he will guide you. And he will give you peace. That's what a script. What a scripture. Psalms 23. Man. Mm. Well, gentlemen, that was a great study. 
Hey man, that was so two, three, and four. Uh, so now we're on Psalms 95. 95. Let's go. Yeah. We could probably get to 100 next study. Uh, if this time works good for you tomorrow, Donnie, I'd love to spark it back up. I think it should be fun. Excellent. All right. Love it. Um, well, it's the new year, Donnie, and I'd love to have you pray it out real quick if you can. Dear God, thank you for the gifts of this new day. I entrust every hour to your divine providence. Send me the graces I need to live this day with my will aligned with yours. May I be guided by your Holy Spirit as I move through the events of my day. Guide me moment by moment. Amen. 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 That, was, that was beautiful. Was that you, Donnie, or was that scripture? No, I have a little prayer book with me. Oh, it's nice. You kept catching me off guard, so I was like, I got to fight John here and find something to fight back with. You know? I like it. <laughs> you got to be ready. Those are I good. Ladies and gentlemen, you got to be ready for John North because when he puts the weight on the bar, he's going to make it. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. I'll give it my best. Look, Will Hawkins in here saying, even Donnie's prayers get me fired up. And, and Aaron Denny, if you're listening, because I know Aaron Denny listens to the show, uh, I sent over Donnie your uh picture of your Di uh donnie shankle uh, uh tattoo logo the logo the Wait. dynamis that was yeah. cool dynamis yeah yeah it's awesome ripping the head off the lion i mean donnie i gotta ask i don't mean to put you on the spot here but how does that make you feel knowing that there's a warrior out there with your uh with your logo tattooed on his chat uh, uh side there that's cool, man. Everybody's got to have a little dynamis, you know, the will to win. That's what dynamis means, the will to win. We talked about that. How about you channeling your will into something small and passionate that you love, which is the sport of weightlifting, and you go out there with the will to win. Yeah. And whatever you need to do to remind you of that, you do you. The will to win. That's what I got from Glenn, you know. I was thinking about that yesterday. It was like as I was reading John, Jesus was talking about heaven. Wasn't it wonderful to lift in front of Coach Penlay? You couldn't wait to have his eyes on you, you know? As you go up there and snatch clean and jerk, one of the biggest joys you got was to, to lift in front of a man who, who loved you and who wanted to see you flourish. Well, man, take that on a broader scale and, and go live life like you go and make six for six. And instead of it being Glenn watching you, it's the Lord watching you. And that's heaven, man. That joy that you have wow. to yeah. go out and live each day, you know, not to go out there and slam bars, but to go out there and slam life, man. Mm. Wow. What a perspective. Wow. Be a good, righteous man. And the joy that I got from that, the joy that I got lifting with you guys, the joy that I got lifting in front of Glenn, wherever I lifted, maybe that's the same joy, but magnified by a billion. Yeah, man, that's good. When you go and live on the platform of life before God. That is so dadgum good. Wow. Man, that was insane. Perhaps that's what heaven is from a lay reader like me who knows nothing in this world, but who's inspired to learn it through the eyes of my creator with gentlemen like you and to preach the gospel when we get to it, because it's such a, like I said, there's so much beauty and awe and horror and magnificence and power in this book. How can you not be inspired by it to get on this book? podcast with you guys jump on it and, and talk about it with the whole world you know so thanks for having me god, that's awesome thanks for being here donnie Absolutely. amazing praise god i let me just say that was a monumental statement yeah because sure oh that's that was so good. i gotta take that in look at that will says two for six in weightlifting six for that's six right. in life. yeah oh a in a, f in class a in life that's right F in class, A in life. There you go, man. Yeah, I definitely miss, I, I miss Glenn. I, it's for good times. You know, it's um, having somebody 
believe in you and want you to succeed more than yourself. It's an amazing situation and, and feeling to, um, to have on a daily basis. Yeah. You know, and, uh, that's one of those pieces of the secrets of success, you know, yeah. to have that. And yeah. So someone to inspire you to, to, to have the will to win because their will for you is to win and everything. Man, that is it. That's a little nugget of secret sauce that it's you can't duplicate unless it's just there. Yeah, beautiful. Amen and an amen. Amen, amen, amen. and amen. Absolutely, and that's what it is. And come you know, on, me and Donnie are just passing down, passing down, and moving forward with the Glenn Penlay method. You know, and it's and it's really like Donnie said. It's it's actually love. That's what it is. It is. That's what it is. Thanks, guys, for for listening to the Bible study here. And we'll be back tomorrow morning for chapter 95. And uh, let's see here, 95, 96, 97. Oh, these these aren't that long at all. And then, boom, 100. Yes. Oh, we're definitely getting triple digits tomorrow. (laughs) For sure. Definitely posting a total tomorrow. Yes. Yeah. (laughs) That's a a Bible PR total. So, Donnie Shankle, Brian Knight, gentlemen, we'll see you guys tomorrow.